Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we'll learn how to replace the nozzle on the Bamboo Lab X1 and X1 Carbon. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Becoming a member is a great way to support the channel and has a few perks besides just getting your name in lights here. Click the join button to find out more. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to replace the nozzle on this Bamboo Lab X1 carbon, but the process is the same for the regular X1. Now, technically, Bamboo Lab refers to this part as the hot end, so I'll be using that term when talking about this module. My Bamboo Lab X1 carbon was happily zipping along, printing a full plate of 12 cars for the 3D printed Toys for Tots campaign, being headed up by filament manufacturer IC3D. I was simultaneously testing an alternate build plate, which it turns out needed to have the bed at about 45 or 55 degrees Celsius instead of the X1's usual 35 degrees Celsius temperature. Well then, suddenly tragedy struck. I was running the bed with stock settings, so it was at 35 degrees Celsius, and the nozzle hit one of the cars just right, or just wrong, and knocked that car loose. Then that car ran into another car on the print bed and it knocked it loose as well. It was so close to being done that I was considering letting it finish and just cleaning up the spaghetti that was going to happen where those two cars were. But I noticed that the printer was no longer printing nicely on the remaining cars. It looked like it had layer shifted and it also looked like it had skipped a few layers up as well. Kind of weird. But the filament just wasn't laying down directly on top of the previous layer and it wasn't lined up with the previous layer either. So I stopped the print, removed the flex plate I was testing, put in the stock Bamboo Lab flex plate and started the print over. And when it started to do the bed leveling at the beginning of the print job, I saw a message on the printer screen that I had never seen before. And I really wish I'd taken a picture of it, but basically what it said was, bed leveling isn't working right, the nozzle might be loose or it might be bent. So I canceled the print again, grabbed a flashlight and took a peek and sure enough, the hot end had taken one heck of a hit when it knocked that car loose. Check it out, this does not look normal. So obviously I needed to replace the hot end, and fortunately Bamboo Lab included all the spare parts with the printer that I needed. Now on the Bamboo Lab machines, the nozzle and the hot end and the heat break and the heat sink are all one module, which as I mentioned earlier is simply referred to as the hot end. So the hot end minus the fan and the heater and the thermistor looks like this. And as a replacement part, it's about 15 bucks for the one with the hardened steel nozzle and about $10 for the one with the stainless steel nozzle. Not as cheap as the five for 10 bucks brass nozzles you might see for other printers, but they also won't break the bank. So now let me walk you through the process of going from this to this. First thing, turn the printer off. If you have an AMS unit parked on top of the printer, set it to the side or disconnect it and move it out of the way. Sometimes it's a pain to unplug it, but in a recent video, I showed off some tools you can print out to make that job a lot easier. That video is linked in the description. Then, for easy access to the tool head, remove the top glass. The front of the tool head is held on by magnets, so you can pull it forward to release it and then either set it out of the way or completely unplug it and set it aside. For visual clarity here, I chose to unplug it. The fan, heater, and thermistor connectors are located here. Unplug them so the hot end can be removed. Remove the two screws securing the hot end, then remove the hot end from the tool head. Here's the bent hot end next to the new hot end. Remove the two screws securing the fan to the hot end, then remove the fan and set it aside. Remove the silicone sock from the heater block and set it aside. Remove the clip which secures the ceramic heater and the thermistor. This mostly just slides off, but you might have to very gently nudge the tabs on the back side of it so it'll let go. When the clip is removed, the ceramic heater and the thermistor can be carefully removed and any thermal grease on them can be gently wiped away. 
Note that the heater block has two areas notched out of it. One is larger than the other and is sized to fit the ceramic heater. A pouch of thermal grease is included with the hot end. Put a small amount of it on a cotton swab, and then apply it to the heater block where the ceramic heater goes. Also, apply a small amount to the hole where the thermistor goes. Then, insert the thermistor into the hole and place the ceramic heater into place on the heater block. There is a trough cut out of the heat sink for the thermistor and heater cables. Holding the cables in place in that trough, slide the clip into place, being mindful of the thermistor's wires. The clip should go about halfway up the heater block. Then put the silicone sock back on the heater block. It should look like this. Then reattach the fan using its screws. Now attach the hot end assembly to the tool head using its screws. Plug in the thermistor cable, the heater cable, and the fan cable. Then tuck the cables behind this clip. Finally, reattach the front cover on the tool head. If you unplugged it as I did, plug it back in before reattaching it. And that's all there is to replacing the hot end using the spare parts that came with the printer. It's not super hard, but you do need to be careful with the wires. The thermistor wires in particular can be fragile. You can order the hot end parts from Bamboo Lab if you need more, and if you're not comfortable removing the silicone sock and the fan and the clip and the ceramic heater and the thermistor, Bamboo Lab has pre-assembled hot end modules, so all you need to deal with is three connectors and two screws. Now, having taken a peek behind the cover of the tool head before starting this project, I was afraid this was going to be quite an adventure. It looks complicated in there. All in all, though, doing this the long way wasn't as hard as I was afraid it would be, and I hope this video is helpful if you need to perform a hot end replacement, too. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you could do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.